Hello everybody, uh, my name is Alice Lomas, just set up this company called 7 Magpies. Now 7 Magpies has been set up with the intention to promote uh, the production and preservation of personal video biographies. And in this video I'd just like to go over, um, firstly, the reasons why I think we need personal video biographies, secondly, the sorts of information that we'd want to put in there, and thirdly, the structure that the personal video biography might take. So, why do I think personal video biographies are so important? Well, not to put too fine a point on it, as I've got in, getting older, I've noticed families and friends are, are dying off. And what really appalls me is that the actual lack of physical mementos of those people. Sure, there might be letters, then there might be photographs, and there might be the odd video, a wedding video or, you know, christening. But I just feel that, you know, when a person dies, a library burns down. And in this day and age, we should be at least preserving a couple of the books out of that library. So, um, just before we go on, I'd just like to mention the name Seven Magpies. Uh, why Seven Magpies? Well, when I was growing up, uh, we used to have a little rhyme for the number of magpies that you might see in a flock. So if you saw one magpie, it was indicated sorrow. And the rhyme went like this. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, and seven for a secret never to be told. Now, it may be very poignant, but I just feel that most people's lives are that seventh magpie. They're secrets that never get told. What's my solution to this? Well, I've always kind of liked the This Is Your Life television show, where they basically bring on a celebrity, uh, bring in some family and friends who sit and talk about his life, and it's all recorded, and put down in a big red book, and at the end of the day, the celebrity gets the big red book, and it says, This Is Your Life on it, and so he keeps saying. I propose that we should some, do something similar with that, but I've updated it slightly. Now, obviously, I've already done this for several people, and it's been quite a success. People have liked it. Uh, and basically what I do is I go and interview the people, and have a chat with them about their life. I use a few forms just to make sure we get most of it down. We discuss what we should put in the video and what we should leave out. A um, couple of days later, I come and sit down, and I do more or less what I'm doing here. I, I sit them down in front of the camera, and we sit and chat. And you know, I record three or four hours of video, take that video footage away, I combine it with graphics, uh, a family tree, some photographs that we scanned, some music, and basically produce a DVD, which is a memento of that person's life. And people have said that this is great, and they've really liked it, and suggested, you know, why don't you set up a business doing this? So here we are. So what reasons do I have to, to say that this is a good idea? Well, I use the acronym SAFE because I think that videoing is simple, it's affordable, it's faithful, and it's enjoyable. Firstly, it's simple. Yes, obviously it's simple because basically all you need is a video camera, a computer, and a tripod. You must have a tripod. Secondly, it's affordable. Most people have this equipment to hand anyway. And don't get me wrong, I expect most people to go away and do this for themselves. And to that end, I've put all of the tips and techniques on the website. Quite happy for you to come along, download all that information, and do it for yourselves. If you don't have the time, you don't have the patience, and you don't have the confidence to do this, then of course, I'll, I'm quite happy to come along. And my rates are on the website. Now, let's just take a step back in this affordability thing. Um, you know, what competition have we got here? Well, Tombstone. Uh, tombstone, big lump of stone, costs about $3,000 according to Google, uh, and maybe 20 words on it. Now, you know, if a picture's worth a thousand words, what's a two and a half hour DVD worth? Thirdly, Faithful. And Faithful has three different components. Firstly, video is a faithful representation of that person because it's an exact representation. And human beings are sensory people, and we need to see faces, we need to see gestures, we need to hear tone of voice, because that's all part of our sensory experience. The second way in which video is faithful is that you actually get to see the person there and then discussing the things that are important to them. You don't get an interpretation of, oh, well, he thought this and that. You get it from the horse's mouth. If they're giving you X, Y, and Z, and they're giving, and they're giving the reasons A, B, and C, then you know that that's, that's kosher. The third way in which digital video is faithful is that it's a stable medium, it's easy to reproduce, and it's transportable. So basically, it's stable because digital video does not degrade with time. Also, every copy is as good as the original. And thirdly, it's easily viewed by on a number of devices. You know, th very soon we'll be viewing this sort of stuff on our phones. And because of those three reasons, I think digital video is the ideal choice for this.
what I'd like to do now is just quickly go over some of the information that I think is important to get in these videos. And I always use the acronym HEAP for this. So people have a heap of information. And it's H, which is historical. They have three sorts of historical information. First one of these is the basic structure of their family tree. You know, they know their family. And I always sit down with them and do a quick, rough and ready family tree. Secondly, they actually know the details of the people within those boxes, and they know little stories about them. So I always ask them, well, you know, what was your Aunt Maud like? And they say, oh, they were, she was great, she won the Nobel Peace Prize, or, or she was a spy in the war, or whatever. That's important information as well. And the last uh, sort of inf historical information, which is the one that we normally classically think of historical, is actually, you know, the life and times that those people have lived through. You know, we all lived through the, we've just lived through a recession, you know, so I always say to people, well, you know, how was it for you in the war? And, you know, that's an important historical perspective that you need to get in there. The E in HEAP stands for education. And basically, I feel that we go through life and we all learn Hard, quite, some quite hard, hard fought lessons. And I think that some of these it's important to pass on. Now, whether the next generation actually listens to you or not is another matter, but I think it's important to get them in. So I always ask them, you know, what's your five <laughs> rules for life, basically? Which brings us to A, and A stands for anecdotal, and these are basically little funny stories that have happened to you in your life, and you know, I find that this just lightens the tone of the video. Um, you know, you would not believe what happened to me on the way into work, type things. Um, P, is for passion, and you know I think that it's important to get down on the video the things that you're passionate about. You know, oh, you must. You know, the, what were the five best days of your life? You know, the day I skied down the mountain, the day my son was born, the day, I, you know, whatever, it, whatever pushes your buttons, that goes in there. And I cheat a bit because there's a second P, and the P, the second P is for personal messages. Life's very short, you know, and. We don't always have the time to say the things that we want to to people. Now, they can be good things, they can be bad things, but I think that it may be important that if you've got something you want to get off your chest, now's the time to do it. And the good thing about these last three, the anecdotes, the passion and the personal messages, is that I, th I think they're like, um, they're like seasoning in the meal. You know, They add a little bit of spice and they, they actually show the person you know, to be a human being. Okay, so I've quickly gone over you know, what a personal video biography is, why I think we need them, and basically what you'd put in them. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, browbeat you anymore. I'm, you know, your time is precious. So what I've basically done is I've just filled the rest of the video with some quotes from books, movies, um, poems that I've seen. And of course, they all tie in with the seven magpies uh, image. So put your feet up, sit and watch them and, and enjoy. And thanks for listening and get yourself magpied. Okay, thank you.